Here you go. Got a little prototype of um, the thing that locks the pump the, the tap so no one can get water out of it. I want to make it out of steel instead. It looks like if we go with these dimensions for the inner box and the outer box and do the same sort of hinge. Maybe a similar locking system. Should work. I'm using this um, Stellwerk 3-in-1 plasma cutter TIG welder and um, stick welder. Starting with the plasma cutting first. For this inner box, it looks like 15 centimeter by 15 centimeter we'll use with a 5 centimeter height, so that makes 25 centimeters wide. The plasma cutter tip is 7 millimeters wide, so 25 plus half of 7 with the 1 millimeter kerf. Set that to 25.4. So now we'll just go down here and put this at 25.4, clip the one end. It's just thin 1.2 millimeter plate, but I find it's best just to pump the thing all the way up. This cuts at about 45 amps. Safety glasses on. Safety shoes uh, will be located. Give that a check here. Oh, I certainly could have cut that with um, with the grinder, but it's nice and quick this way. All right, now we need to cut into squares. It's getting stormy out there, but if you ever want a plasma cutter, check this out. Watch this full cut here, how quick it is. I go over, turn on the air compressor, come back here, grab the torch. There we go, four 25 centimeter squares. By the way, I'm making four of these, I guess. Might as well make a bunch one time. The outer box needs to slide over the inner box, but the tabs don't need to be as big. We'll make four centimeter tabs, and if this is 15, we should maybe make this 15.2 just so it fits in over that easy enough. Maybe 15.3. So I set this at 23.8 which will give us 23.4 after the cut which will give us 15.3 with um, 4 centimeter tabs, is that right? Let me just do a little bit of math again. Okay, 15.4, that gives us 2 millimeters clearance on each side. Yeah, it should be good. Okay, yep, 23.4, so let's make some more squares, 23.4 by 23.4. Last one. Let's see, four plus four, eight sets of eight squares. Perfect. Now I just have to cut out the corners. I was cutting a little slow on a couple of them, and the tip is both Chinese and old, so I got a little bit of dross right there. But just conking that with a hammer like that it just brings it off nice and easy now this is the outer box so I want to cut a four centimeter square out of each of the corners and I'm gonna mark one and cut one with the grinder and then use that as a pattern for the plasma cutter here in Africa we use raised uh, old blades to mark things see it works pretty good so I made a little piece the right size that if I just put it right there in the corner, I should be use it, able to use it as a guide and plasma cut alongside it to get the right four centimeter tabs. All right, I got one here and um, before I do all four, maybe I'll just bend and uh, look at this one to make sure it works out right. I'm going to be TIG welding the corners, so I'm going to try to clean up um, using a wire brush. A 
And now's the time when I um, reveal my sheet metal break. But now, this is Africa. We ain't got no sheet metal break. So we use a piece of angle iron and a vise to do our bending. But I need to make this so I can bend those in inside corners. So less than 15 centimeters, just a little bit of cutting. You see it? Here we got a fancy dancy chops out of sorts underneath the bench. Just a cheap miter box saw with a cutting disc in it. But nice cuts. Tab should be four centimeters, so I put that in the combination square. And then I line this up so it's four centimeters from the edge. Now I just have to find my special whomper tool. There it is. And I start all whomping. Nothing a little pounding can't do. Got that one bent, now I gotta move over to the next side. That's two sides. Time to wonk the third side. There we go, an open box. I just need to straighten the corners up a little bit and boy, it's gonna be tricky for this beginning TIG tig welder to fill that, but I guess we can do it. Okay, there's the first box, but I think I need to cut them a little bit smaller at the corners in order to get less of a gap there. Other than that, it looks pretty good and it sits nice and, nice and straight there. Okay, so this is going to be the outside box. I'm getting myself confused there for a second. Um, the outside box, so the inside is 15.4. That's what we we're looking for, great. So you want to make the outside of this box 15, so it nests inside of that. Okay, I've marked the corners here. And I'll cut one out with the grinder and then do the same trick with the plasma cutter. And time to bend this guy. And there's the inside box, the moment of truth. Does it fit inside? Whoa! Just barely. I need it a little closer than I wanted, but it should work. Alright, getting set up to TIG weld that. First thing you need to do is grind this tungsten gun. Okay, I got the machine set on um, just a simple setup. I've got the torch, the gas, the torch switch, and the foot pedal plugged in, and the ground, everything's plugged in there. I don't have it on pulse, just a straight um, uh, straight setup there. We have 27 amps. You can see when I hit the foot pedal, it can go up to about 100. So I figured that should be all right. And I start by tacking those corners and then coming along. Okay, I've saved the worst for last. I'm not looking forward to that one. Some of these are a little bit ugly, but they worked. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, I'm gonna try to put a tack here. We'll see how this works. Well, it's a solid box. It's not the prettiest solid box. That's probably the best weld out of them. These outer ones are a lot trickier because I don't want to I don't want to bend that in any, or it'll make the box too small. So basically, I'm just laying a filler rod after tacking it, laying a filler rod almost straight down there, and and then putting a bead on top and a bead on the bottom onto that filler rod. All right, there's the other 
top part with some really ugly welds that I'll be able to clean up. And then thankfully, I think once I clean them up, it should just 